What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this series, I show you how easy it is to manipulate and lie with data. Now, when I toss out the word average, you most likely know what that is. It's a very common statistical concept. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily manipulate data using averages and a way that you can actually make it a little bit more accurate. All right, so really quickly, you may recognize this off the bat because I actually made a LinkedIn post with very similar data and kind of explaining this, and this is what prompted me to create this series in the first place. But what we're looking at is we're gonna take a look at the average. Now, right here in our data, we have the state. We have California and we have Georgia. Vastly different states in terms of average salaries, vastly. California uh, has dramatically higher salaries. This is just made up data, so don't uh, take this as real. Here we have average salaries. In the state of California, the average salary is 200,000. In the state of Georgia, the average salary is 75,000. So if we come over here, we're gonna say equals, and we're just gonna take the average. We're gonna take the average of these two numbers. And what we can conclude from this is that the average salary for California and for Georgia is 137,500. Just as a numbers thing, this number is correct, right? If you take 200,000 plus 75,000 and divide it by two, you are going to get 137,500. But this is not correct. In fact, this isn't just a lie. This is incorrect data. What we're working with now is we've already taken the average salary and now we're taking the average of an average and we're not using the underlying data to conduct and get this average, which is gonna make it completely wrong. Scroll over just a little bit, and now we're gonna be working with what I like to call raw data. Now I like to call it that because that's what it is. Uh, if you don't know what raw data is, it is the actual data before it is manipulated, changed, or aggregated in any way. So this is our raw data behind those averages. And right here we have California, and we have our salaries, and then we have a lot more data for Georgia, and here are all the salaries. So let's come over here. We're gonna do the average, just like we did before. We're gonna say the average for California. And look at that, it's that 200,000. Then we're gonna do the average for Georgia. So we're gonna say average, and I did it again. And we're gonna take all of Georgia. So now you can see we have 200,000 and 75,000. Those numbers are correct. But let's take a look at the average for everything. So now we're gonna say average. And we're going to take the average for this entire salaries column. And now the average is actually 100,000, which is very different than 137,500. In fact, to be more specific, it's 37,500 off. And that is a big, big difference. Now, I've seen this in the real world play out. I've seen this on the news. And I told my wife and she was like, didn't understand it at all. And it was kind of hard to explain in that moment. But if I could have shown her this video, she would have totally gotten it. But I didn't. And, you know, she doesn't believe me. And that's okay. But this is the actual average. This is the underlying data behind these averages. And statistically, if you average an average, most likely, most of the time, you are going to get an incorrect number. So if you want to get the correct average, we're going to have to do this right here. Whereas you take the underlying data, this is our raw data, and you perform an average. Now, what's interesting is, is if you look throughout all of our salaries here, nobody makes 100,000. In fact, most people don't actually come anywhere close to 100,000. This is 175,000, 225,000. Then we have 95, that's the closest one. Then we have 85, no one actually makes 100,000. And so that's kind of misleading. Statistically, this is the average, but this may not be what you're trying to convey to whoever is looking at this. I think oftentimes when people look at averages, what they really want is something like median. So let's come in here. And let's take a look at median, and I need to uh, write that right. But this is going to return the number in the middle of the set of our given or our array of numbers. So we're going to do median. We're going to take all of these numbers. And what it's going to do is it's going to select the middle point. So our middle point of our data is actually 82,500. So if we take our data, we're going to go to data, we're going to add a filter, and we're going to do smallest to largest. Don't worry about these numbers. I hard coded those in as L2 and 3 and L4 to uh, 11. Uh, just ignore that for right now. 
But as we go down, we have 10 rows of data. So it's going to take a look and it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then in between five and six, it's going to say, okay, I need to take the average of these two numbers and that's going to be our median. This number for this data is actually much more representative of what salaries are being made throughout our raw data. Whereas averages can be skewed quite easily. For example, if I do, this person makes 11 million, he's the CEO of Starbucks or something. Well, we're going to say, okay, the averages for uh, our raw data is 1.2 million, but nobody actually makes 1.2 million. But you'll notice that the median stayed the same. The median didn't change just because of this one outlier right here. And so oftentimes what I see is a lot of people will use averages to kind of show and prove something when if you look at the median, it's a vastly different number. And so that was a few different things we covered in this lesson of how you can manipulate and change data, sometimes accidentally, if I'm being honest. You know, you make these uh, assumptions and you just go for it with these statistical concepts that you're pretty comfortable with. You're like, I know what an average is. You may be misleading or lying about what the underlying data is actually saying. And so I don't want you to make that mistake because it can be somewhat embarrassing, especially to someone who's more senior who may understand this a lot better. So don't make this mistake. Don't be that guy who's averaging averages or using averages where they shouldn't be when they really what they need to do is look at the underlying data, maybe look at something like median where it may be more accurate for that use case. I really do hope that this was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.